In this lesson, I will be showing you how to make two types of scribble links. The half scribble, which has four curves, and the full scribble, which has eight curves. One of the most important things to understand about the scribble link is that one half of it will always be a reverse mirror or identical and opposite of the other half. This will help you with the continuity of the design. As mentioned in the supplies and materials lecture, you will only need 15 inches of 22 gauge silver plated round wire. This will be divided into a five inch section for the half scribble and a 10 inch section for the full scribble. So let's begin with the half scribble. Form a basic loop at the very end of the five inch length of wire. Using a middle point on your round nose pliers, create a curve that both starts at the finish and moves in the opposite direction of the basic loop. This technique is the same one used when creating the hook of the hook clasp. Starting as closely as possible to the original loop, create another curve that moves in the opposite direction. You can see the scribble starting to expand in size. You will also notice that you're at the midpoint of the half scribble. The rest of the design is an exact duplication of what we've just created, only in the opposite order. That said, create your third curve. This will be identical and opposite to your second curve. Your final curve will move in closer to the center, contracting the size of the scribble. It will be identical and opposite your first curve. Finish the half scribble with a basic loop identical and opposite to your first basic loop. Trim the excess wire and make any necessary straightening adjustments with your fingers and your chain nose pliers. And let's move on to the full scribble. Form a basic loop at the very edge of the 10 inch length of wire. Create three curves exactly as though you were going to make a half scribble. For your fourth curve, instead of moving towards the center, we will be expanding rather than contracting the scribble. And you can see that we are at the midpoint of the full scribble with four of the eight total curves. Just like the half scribble, the rest of the full scribble design is a reverse mirror image of what we've just created. So let's create the identical and opposite curves. The fifth curve is still maintaining the widest point of the scribble. The sixth curve begins to contract the size of the scribble. The seventh curve continues to move in toward the center of the design. And the eighth curve mimics the very first curve you made right after the original basic loop. After making a final curve count to ensure that you've got eight, create the second basic loop. Trim the excess wire and use your fingers and your chain nose pliers to perform any necessary straightening to the link.
and you are now ready to use these links in complete designs.